And more importantly, verse number 34. We look in the Word of God in the Old Testament as well, in the book of 1 Samuel. When we read our first text in Exodus chapter 28, we read about pomegranates and golden bells. Pomegranates in the land were a symbol of fruitfulness because of all the seeds found in one pomegranate. The skirt of the high priest's robe had a remarkable trimming of pomegranates in blue and crimson, red, with a bell of gold between each pomegranate. The opinions vary on how many seeds that a pomegranate produces, but for the most part, most agree that at least 650 seeds can be found in one single pomegranate. If you've never seen a pomegranate and it looks much today like in America, we'd have an apple. It, it, it is very similar. It looks just like it. But when you split it and cut it, you will find out on the inside, some say that there's 650, but I've also read reports and researched up over a thousand seeds wow. in one pomegranate. Now you might think tonight that it's just hearsay. That a lot of people talk about what happens in scripture and how symbolism in the Old Testament and how fact and how history and, and things in the Word of God don't line up. And there are examples for us today. But I tell you, the devil is alive. When I look at the Word of God and the Word of God says a golden bell and a pomegranate and another marvel, it means something to me. But when the Bible says it twice, it means even no more. So the Word of God says on the hem of the robe of the high priest's skirt, there was a golden bell and a pomegranate. Now, pomegranates must mean something to the body of Christ. First of all, they're fruitful. When God created Adam and Eve, their assignment was to be fruitful and multiply. The assignment of the apostles when the Holy Ghost fell on them was to go out and be witnesses unto me in Judea and all of Jerusalem. So the Bible, again, in the Old Testament speaks of fruitfulness. In the Bible, in the New Testament speaks of fruitfulness. He just doesn't want us to get around just a few every Saturday night and a few on Sunday. But I love, bless God, a group of people that will get together at about almost 90 degree weather on a Saturday evening. Yeah. You've been doing a whole lot of other things. But came out to the house of God and said, here we are.